afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Right Wine Company uh, Whiskey Sample Club. We're on sample club uh, number one and we're on the fifth sample uh, and we're looking at Talisker Distillery. Here's a range of Talisker. Talisker's a great, great distillery. Benchmark 10 year old, amazing distillers edition, the stunning 18 year old uh, and then you start looking into the big leagues with their 25 and 30 year old. Talisker was established in the 1830s by the sons, two sons of a local doctor and it's gone from strength to strength. Is it the popularity of Sky? I mean Sky's visitor numbers increase, well Sky's population is 10,000 in summer there's 40,000 residents on the island. Or is it its romantic connections to Bonnie Prince Charlie? Fly Bonnie Prince like a bird on the wing over the sea to Sky. Or is it really down to the great quality spirit that they actually produce? Uh, it's amazing stuff. They've had seen 100% sales increase in the last five years. They even run short at the distillery. I mean, they're often out. We have quite close connections with Tesco. Our former colleague, Mike, who many of you will remember, is now the, 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 the chief tour guide uh, at Sky. So we speak to Tesco quite regularly. It's ironic, we've just had two of the most torrential days of rainfall. We've had three and a half inches of rain drop uh, in the last two days. Everywhere is in flood. The A1's closed due to flooding. And Taliscus uh, this year keeps on running out of water. They've had a shortage of water, something I believe to do with the Gulf Stream moving. Uh, but yes, quite ironic. The Sample Club actually owes a great deal to Talisker because there's actually four members of staff who work at Talisker who actually do the Sample Club. So what an endorsement we have. Now we're going to look at the 30 year old. The 30 year old was first released in 2006 and it didn't go down too well. Some people say it was a bit too woody, a bit too stale, a bit flat. Uh, but we're actually on the 30 year old 2010 release with an alcoholic volume of 57.3%. Uh, let's see what we what we get. Well, on the nose, there's this glorious honeycomb coming through, and then there's this there's this thin wisps and waves of smoke that float through on this this almost vegetal herby, and then you get the well, it's fresh pear there, but you get this wonderful pepper, which I always get with Talisker. But then Bang! Whoosh! It comes in with maple spit syrup and, and there's dried dates floating through it, almost like a, a Christmas pud type feel, but without being a Christmas pud. Right, let's see what we get on the palette. So, wow. Now that is rich. It's spice. There's this coastal feel. You can almost imagine being there in the Atlantic with a bucket of seawater thrown over you while smelling, you know, this fire coming through. So there's a smoke there and there's this warm, warm, rich fruits, these charred fruits with, with sweetness, but, but yet there's this herbaceous character to it at the same time. And the pears there and the pepper and it, oh, it's just, it's fantastic whiskey. You know, forget what they said about the 2006 release. This is a 2010 release, 30 year old. It's 200, 250 quid. I think it's worth every penny. Cheers.